What's up my dear friends, my name is Solomon and in this video we will break up the brand new challenge in Clash of Clans. As always, I will explain you in details, step by step, all the necessary actions that you need to take to pass this challenge easily even without spending some of the spells. Now on your screen you can see the last seconds of my attack and the advantage that I have in the result with two unused spells and plenty of time left. Also, just a quick reminder, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel as there will be a lot of content in December. One more challenge and of course sneak peeks of upcoming Town Hall 16. For those of you who don't have enough patience to listen to my explanations, which I think are important, I have placed the time code of my life attack in the pinned comment, so you can easily jump to it. For everybody else, thanks for your patience and let's start. Before we jump to the explanations and of course life attack, I want to introduce you new skins and new scenery that will be available in December. Uh, first is uh, the scenery, the gingerbread scenery that is themed for the upcoming holidays, the new year and uh, Christmas and so on. And uh, in my opinion, this scenery looks uh, pretty interesting. Uh, you see uh, the decorations, uh, the goblin that is standing near the table with all the uh, cakes and uh, so on. And um, as I said, the theme of the upcoming holidays is pretty great. The next topic that I want to discuss with you is the series of uh, the skins. The gingerbread skins for all the heroes and the first skin will be available in the gold pass season. Uh, so if you purchase uh, the gold pass, you will uh, be able to uh, get the gingerbread warden just in the beginning of the month. By the way, the rewards for the gold pass are pretty interesting. Two books of heroes for those of you who purchase the gold pass. And uh, as you know, the Town Hall 16 is uh, coming soon. And that means that we will have to upgrade our heroes pretty fast. And with book of heroes and with the gold pass, you can do it even quicker. By the way, if you are going to purchase the gold pass for the next season or probably the scenery or the uh, skins for other heroes, please don't forget to use my creator boost code. It's Salamon, the same as the name of my channel. Okay, guys, so here is the map of the challenge and uh, the troops that we are going to use. By the way, the challenge is uh, not very easy and I spent some time to find the correct way how this challenge can be passed. But after that, all the attempts uh, finished with three stars because uh, this uh, method is stable and you will, of course, get a three star if you follow all the steps. First of all, guys, just a warning. Uh, there are lots of black mines in front of this monolith, uh, which means that we don't have to attack with our super dragons from this side. Otherwise, we will lose all of them. Uh, that's why the first step that we need to make is to use one bowler on this side and one bowler on this side. Uh, this way we can take down their defenses with the bounces without uh, investing any other troops. When their defense is taken down, we need to start our air attack from the bottom of the base, sending uh, two lava hounds uh, for each of the air defenses and then follow up with the super dragons. But we don't need to use our loons because uh, we need to use them to take down the single inferno towers. For that, we need to use uh, the skeleton spell then send three loons and our archer queen. And on the other side the same, uh, the skeleton spell, the uh, wall breaker and three loons. And then we are adding our king. Uh, this have to be made simultaneously with the attack from the bottom uh, with our uh, air army. The lava loons and uh, the super dragons. And while our super dragons are coming through the center of the base, we need to use three earthquakes over here and follow up with uh, two lightning spells, one on this side and one on this side. This needs to be made uh, to take down the monolith with our royal champion. And when we use her ability, uh, the shield is taking down all four monoliths. Uh, by that time, our air army is coming from the bottom of the base and um, it will finish the town hall and the axe bows. So this is the idea of the attack. First step, taking down the air defenses, then fall up with the air army and uh, take down the sides of the base with our king and queen. And everybody is finishing uh, near the town hall. By, by that time, the town hall will be taken down by our royal champion and our heroes. So now I will show you my life attack with all these steps so you can uh, see clearly what, uh, how and when I was making. 
Okay guys, so first step as I said is the bowler bounces on both sides. Now we just have to wait until the air defenses goes down because otherwise uh, the lava hound will fly across the map and will die uh, very quickly and we don't need that as they have to protect our super dragons. Now uh, opening up the wall with the wall breaker starting the air attack lava hounds uh, super dragons and green warden then uh, follow up with the skeleton spells uh, three loons on one side three loons on the other side using our archer queer Queen on the left and our king on the right. Also try to use your Grand Warden ability just in the beginning of this funnel because uh, this will help to protect Lava Hounds as uh, much as possible. Now we are activating the Town Hall but mainly we are damaging the Monoliths and the uh, Royal Champion ability is taking down uh, all four Monoliths and then follow up with the uh, town hall and that's it guys this all you have to do to pass this challenge because uh, everything else will be made without your involvement as uh, you have uh, pretty much troops i still have my king ability i still have uh, two invisibility spells but i don't need them actually you can uh, use them if you uh, need protection of your heroes uh, but uh, if you follow all the steps correctly, you will don't need them. So this method uh, I have tried several times just to make sure that it works each time. Uh, and uh, as I said, this uh, method is very stable. So you can just do the steps and finish up the challenge with a three star and plenty of time and two spells actually not used. So this is the explanation of uh, this gingerbread challenge, guys. Uh, please make sure, as I said in the beginning, that you are subscribed to my channel, as there will be one more challenge for Town Hall 15. And also there will be much uh, of the content uh, for Town Hall 16 upcoming in December, as all of you know. I almost forgot to show you all the gingerbread skins in action, guys. First uh, skin is the gingerbread king and uh, you see that uh, this skin is flat, the same as the other ones. The next one is the Grand Warden skin, also the same, the gingerbread warden, also very interesting and funny. The next one is the royal champion, the same, uh, the candy shield and uh, the gingerbread champion on your screens. And the last one is Gingerbread Queen, also with Candy uh, X Bow in her hands. Uh, this is the Langer skin, that means that uh, it will be available in the in-game shop. And as these are the Langerine skins, uh, that means that all the units that are spawned with the abilities of Archer Queen and King will be uh, with the same skins as uh, the main hero. So let's check out uh, the um, the units that are spawned by the ability. So here is the archers, the mini archers, the mini gingerbread ar archers, which looks amazing. And the same happens with the King when we use his ability. Also, the gingerbread barbarians are spawned by the ability of the king and uh, they are looking very interesting and i love uh, the way how these small barbarians and archers are look like so that's finally it for today guys thanks a lot for watching and i see you in the next video it was salamon bye